It's time for the Is Wiz with Maz Mattis writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1998, recorded Thursday, July 25th, 2024. Bubbling with disappointment. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Diggity has three fantastic gadgets from Sweet Sweet. I have my final outdoor party gadget and your videos all next on the Gizwiz. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and yellow. Get ready for the Giz Wiz now. now! Now! And here he is, the only guy who responded to my gadget luau invite. Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. It was a wonderful luau. It was it great. Was great. It was yeah. the uh the, the pig thing uh, with the the apple in the mouth. That was uh yeah. best part for me. Yeah. You know, I, I uh, yeah, I just ate the apple part. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I didn't want the pig. The pig was. I thought it was going to be bacon, but anyway. <laughs> when the pig got up and ran off, I was just like, that's too rare for me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. The apple was definitely the best. Uh, what's up? How's, how's it been this last week? Uh, let's see. Nothing too thrilling here. We had that's a, The weather in New York's been dreadful. You know, I, in, the, in the 90s and. and hot. Uh, hot, hot, hot. From, Tremendous uh, humidity, but one step closer to Fios. Oh my gosh! Uh, What's the update? I was uh, update. having breakfast, and my breakfast table faces the backyard, so I can watch my trains out the window. Although I also have two cameras on the trains, I can watch them on a monitor. And suddenly, a man appears in my back window. <laughs> Your backyard. And- in the backyard. Yes, they can get into the backyard through the basement. Oh, oh, oh. And he knocks on the back door and he says, I didn't want to scare you. I saw you sitting there. I just want to tell you uh, <laughs> uh, I'm with Verizon. Actually, it was four people. Um, and he got out the... Wait, wait four people in your backyard? <laughs> was yes. One person turned... Oh, by the way, we've been having a meeting without you in your backyard. <laughs> in Come your backyard. The, they said, the oh, by the way, it's... The trains are really nice. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Do you use a power washer? What is, it? What is going yeah. on? Yeah. <laughs> he said, um, they opened the plants up and he said, oh, what building are we in? I said, 319. He said, oh, okay. Um, you're not going to have a box in your backyard. The box is going to go on 325. The neighbors? I said, oh, okay. It's four doors down. He said, so basically <laughs> all you'll have is a cable strung along the buildings um and uh, i said do you know when and they said actually we're just the cable people (laughs) you'll hear from verizon when they uh get ready to do it but they have to do the whole neighborhood first so wow but at least the 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 wiring in the building is all done and now yeah so your whole block his, so there's one node, basically, is what you're saying. The, yeah, the, the box a, exactly. exactly. Yeah, and, and it's interesting because I thought it would be, well, we have to get 80% of the people in your building. They're just wiring every apartment. <laughs> Actually, according to the guys, they, they run a box t- above the door of every apartment. And then if you didn't want it, they do nothing, but if yeah, a new tenant get moves it. in and they want it, then they'll attach a wire. That going is so into funny. I mean, people hate installation fees anyway, right? Like, you don't, if you get a service, you're not going to want, okay. And then also $500 to have someone install the service at my door. So I guess yeah. they're saying, well, we have the installers in the air and the block go door to door, install it on every door all at once, and then. People are gonna want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, and it's cheaper for them to yeah. have two people just do the whole building at one time. Yeah, absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that is. And you, what's happening with you? Not as exciting as that. You were you were eating, <laughs> and all of a sudden, your backyard turned into gigabit speeds. Like, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's crazy. Um, honestly, really, uh, 
Nothing. I don't think there's been anything. Nothing, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think. It's hard to remember a, a week past, but uh, yeah, I can't. Oh, you know, we, we should mention in host chat, um, in two shows, Gizwiz 2000. 2000 episodes. 2000. I mean, Not... for a podcast, that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Yes, yes. So, and for those who are new, I guess, we should, let's do a little history lesson. The first few years, five years? Five. So it started off as a weekly show, then moved to a daily show. No, no, it started off as a daily show. Started off as a daily show. Daily then show. moved to. Uh, uh, for a radio. For no, radio. there was no video. Yeah. And it was smaller segments. It was like. Oh my God, the segments were uh, like seven minutes. Right. It was like a hit. Yeah. And that was an yeah, episode yeah. of the Gizwiz for a long, long time. Uh, so that was every weekday. So five, so you'd get through five episodes a week for a while. That that's that's one of the reasons we have so many episodes, is for a while it was the daily Gizwiz. Ex yeah, exactly. And then it was just one of three shows that Leah was doing. But then when the show he started to get a lot of shows, the editor said why can't you just do five gadgets in one show <laughs> so that we only have one show to edit? And that worked out well because trying to do five host chats <laughs> is really <laughs> difficult. Five host chats in a row. Ah, it's Tuesday. Well, yeah. Oh, you know, see. Taco yeah. Tuesday. I love it. Uh, I'm not. I'm not eating a taco today. But man, it's another Tuesday. Whew. That's what they say yeah. about Tuesdays. Yeah, I get the. <laughs> yep, and then uh, some vid video started, and then I think it was after five years. Leo said, "We're getting some sponsors, and you at last will get some money." Woohoo! So that was. A five-year investment in weren't those building, the years making money building, uh, with the Gizwiz. building an <laughs> audience. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and then uh, it was so uh, I remember specifically the weekly daily Gizwiz. I thought that was hilarious. Yes, that's what we called it. What do you want to call it? I said, well, the weekly daily Gizwiz. Yeah. It's, it's not the yeah. daily Gizwiz anymore. It's now the weekly daily Gizwiz. Yeah. When did when did that drop? When did it just become the Gizwiz? Was that when we finally? You know what? I don't it? even I don't even know. When did I, we lose I, I that? Know. That's how you know you've been around when you don't even remember your own lore. When your no, own absolutely. history is so complicated. Yeah, well, I I think it was two thousand and six. That's a <laughs> lot of years. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, the, sorry, we, I inter we interrupted ourselves by saying we want people, I want people, to send in a uh, little, uh, we, you know, I guess congratulations or say thank you or just say hello, say, you know, what? Some, some, uh, a gadget that you said, oh, my God, uh, you, I bought this and I loved it, or you guys made me waste mm -hmm. money on this. Uh, yeah. You know, any and I want, I want to put together a little videos. montage and, and play it. So uh, I need the videos just basically whatever. You know, we have uh, two weeks until the uh, last. Yeah, two weeks from today. From today until uh, episode 2000. So just anything. Uh, that I do want to make kind of a quick montage. So keep them fast, almost like a, like a quick greeting card. Like, love you guys. You guys are the, the best. Um, so that we can kind of show everybody. But... Uh, uh, yeah, that would be great. And then just send it on over to mail at gizwiz.tv, upload it to YouTube. Um, just try to make sure it's horizontal. Honestly, this will be a quick montage, so however you record it, you'll be good. Um, and I'll, I'll try to put together that before episode 2000. Cause, uh, and then, of course, if only two people send something in, it will be a slow montage. It will just slow it down <laughs> so it looks like. It's called a, uh, it's not a montage, it's a, it's a bytage, and then you can have a yes, tri -tage, Yeah, by and, then, and, and we'll give it, to, we'll have AI, we'll just say, AI, add a thousand congratulations and make up some people's yes, faces. Yes, chat GPT, generate image of what, uh, 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 grateful fans. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there you go. There you go. 
Uh, yes. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. I think it'll be fun to to, to say congrats to ourselves for uh, such a like, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it, episodes. It's, it's crazy. It's cool. It, it really it, it's it's quite amazing. Oh, okay, yeah. I have to go find my our podcast award. It was up here somewhere. Yeah. Well, I re- I was every once in a while I'm like I remember we got an award and I can't for the life of well, me. Well, you know, back then Twit was real wild and he said, "Oh, you know, so and so won a podcast award." I said, "Well, why doesn't the Giz was ever win a podcast?" And he said, oh, "All right, just tell your fans you want to win an award." <laughs> The award, and, it's an award-winning podcast. There was there was years that that was the uh, that was the line I would use. That's another thing, as you can tell the era. Yeah, of, and we sure. did win uh, as best comedy podcast. It felt maybe, like that. I guess maybe. Uh, and we won out over some big things like the BBC, something crazy. I mean, anyway, <laughs> so now it's I just have a magic marker and I just change the date every year. So yeah, I've won. Lots of them. In fact, we may have even outlisted that award ceremony. I don't even know if <laughs> <laughs> I think we are. I, I think we have. I don't I'm think they sure. do that award ceremony anymore. I, I I'm not sure. Oh, that's so funny. Well, hey, you went to Sw- so anyway. Uh, once again, please, uh, we'll try to remind people next week too. Uh, just record something uh, and say hello and and say and say something and mail it on over. Mail it. Yeah, Gizmos. I mean, it could be up to a minute if they yes. want, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so um, do that. Send it on over. Okay, yeah. the sweet. Wait, not sweet, sweet. It is sweet, sweet. Wait, it's sweet. It? Yeah, sweet. Yeah, sweet, yeah. Sweet. I have two gadgets left over from the other event. I'll do everything next week. Um, uh, sweet, sweet is a toy event. Okay, and I think this is the most astounding transformer I have oh. ever seen, and I think you'll agree. This okay. is it. Well, we've been at Robeson before, but they have lots of new stuff, and Logan is going to show us some of it. Yes, sir. Like I will this? show you. I'll show you all these robots we got. So okay. This one we just launched about three months ago. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a tank, about eight pounds. I want you to feel how heavy this machinery is. Wow. It's like substantial, right? Yeah. Very nice. Now he goes from tank to hey Megatron. Introduce yourself. So he's wow. gonna go ahead and wow. introduce who oh he is. My, oh wow. my holy holy cow. Okay, what? Whoa. Okay, toys uh, toys are getting too advanced. I'm actually scared. 36 so servo hearing, yeah, motors. Amazing, right? Amazing. What you're hearing is the original voice of Megatron from 1984, Frank Welker. Yeah. We brought him in studio, re-recorded all brand new lines. You're going to hear the voice of Peter Cullen in the original Optimus Prime, which is this one. Hey, Optimus Prime. Megatron. <laughs> What on? So this all is of these crazy. are voice activated, app connected, and I've got our app on uh, Grimlock. And this is Grimlock another right amazing here. one. Dick, why don't you go ahead and press bite? Okay, bite. Okay. Go Did he not touch go? bite right there? Okay. Oh my! What? Oh my! Holy cow! Wow! So, oh my God! Wow! I feel like I could buy one of these or a college Logan, education. What are these retail like, for? They're amazing. <laughs> That's yeah, what... thank you. So these are sixteen ninety nine. So one thousand six hundred ninety nine. Grimlock. Yeah. Megatron, our brand new one is um, this one is eleven ninety nine. And then Optimus Prime, our elite version, is $6.99. I want to talk to you. Are all three out? Yes. Uh, you can order all three of these. These are shipping now, Grimlock okay. and Optimus. Megatron just launched, so he's coming in in about two months. And okay. uh, we're shipping this. And and Robeson.com? Yeah. So Robeson.com, uh, HasbroPulse.com. You got Entertainment Earth. You got Big Bad Toy Store. 
Uh, all the collector sites. Okay. You can go ahead and get this it. This is great. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Thank I can, you very much. Yeah, it's super. I am flabbergasted. <laughs> I am too. Now, yeah, we're going to watch Dick transform yeah. into a cappuccino. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, yeah. That is crazy. It is more expensive than I expected. Yes. Yes. But, yeah, they, they uh, I, I put a link to their video. It's three minutes, but if you saw it one minute in, there's sort of a slow motion of that transformation of the Megatron. Here we and, go. And it, uh, I'm getting that thing. And powered by 100 About one minute, yeah. Controlling 36 high-precision servo motors, enabling fluid transformation and actions. Decepticons, attack! Crush them! Crush them all! Uh, Interact with your mega. Where are we? An okay, I thought we were much closer to a minute. Oh, oh, there we go. Here's the slow. There we go. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Remote control using your mobile device. Beyond the built-in actions, customize your Megatron by what? programming unique actions. That's, that's okay. Right there is good. Here we go. Oh my Mega gosh, this is so cool. Megatron will win any fight for Cybertron when equipped with the light up Energon sword and Energon mace. <laughs> Yikes. Is that it? Featuring individual <laughs> controlled track treads. Enabling the tank to perform pivot turns, mimicking real tank movements. Nothing will stop uh, Megatron. That is Featuring crazy. Tank shells uh, yeah, that isn't that? A, a, and it weighs, Power. you know, he he handed me this thing in the video. I think it's 12 and a half pounds. I mean, I, it's just. I kind of appreciate not, how they're just like, yeah, we wanted to do everything. And we don't mind that it costs the same as a laptop. Yes, yes. Like, and the, the uncompromising, like, we're just going to make it do the thing, and it's going to cost as much as it costs. And if you don't, if yes. you can't afford it, too, too bad. Uh, yes. At, cool. At, at high-end robo-dealers, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah, like exactly. That, 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 that. Yes, and there's one thing in that video that I thought was amazing is you can, if I understand it right, you can program him by taking him and moving him around, bending his arms and stuff, and he'll remember that and then act that out for you. Wow. So if, if you don't want to program him, you just say, hey, do this. Yeah. 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 I mean, that I mean, movement they, is insane. Yeah. And then, I mean, the uh, and obviously the, also the passion of them getting in the the... I mean, the people who voiced them, you know, all the originally original yeah, actors. Absolutely. Yeah, 112 violet and purple LEDs, 36 servo motors. I mean, that is like unlike anything I've ever seen before. Yeah, you're I not going to find that on Amazon. No, I mean, or <laughs> you will, but still. Maybe. Price. Yeah, yeah. At some point you will for $5,000. Somebody who bought Um but that is anybody. crazy. Like, I just didn't even know that this company, uh, I'm just glad you found the company, you know? Like, obviously, yeah. I won't be buying one anytime soon, but... No, we, I did one several years ago, and it was amazing then. And then I I didn't see them at shows for a long time. Yeah. But now they came back big time. Big that time. so crazy. That is cool. That is really, really cool. Oh, my Oh, wait gosh. a minute. Uh, are they on Amazon? Are they? Scooter X, doop, doop, Scooter doop, X doop. just put up. Eh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And it is from them. Yeah. Well, look at this guy. This is uh, Buzz Lightyear. Does he move? Oh my gosh, so loud. Sorry to make everyone's ears bleed. Um, man. Does he move? I didn't even know they did that kind of no. stuff. No. Look at him go. And he has little socks the cat. That is crazy. <laughs> wow. That's insane. That is really cool. This is why we watch the Gizwiz. Because when right. else are you going to run into 
actual articulating Transformer robots that you can buy. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. Cool. So, uh, All right. Well, now, <laughs> coming down to more our price point stuff from Wowie. Hey, we're at Wowie, and they always have fun stuff, and Dave's going to... Well, this is Bike Club. You've heard of Fight Club, right? Yeah. You don't know, you know, talk about Fight Club, but we are going to talk about Bike Club. Oh, this is part of the oh, Untamed Bike Club. Bike Club. Bike Club. Bike Club. Bike Club. Bike Club. You got okay. it. So this is Typhoon and Chomp, and they're kind of fun $10 each kind of creatures, kind of prehistoric looking croc. But let's see. Why don't you press, why don't you put that pencil down, Dick? And okay. Go ahead. A press yeah, down on it? Yeah. Just like, let it go. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, don't yeah. think you, I don't think you want to put your finger or anything else in there. Right? there we go. But, but they're just crazy fun characters, and they're part of the... Oh, they're battling each other. Untamed oh, line. Yeah. So if you do, just go, he's going, they're just going crazy in a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fight club. Yeah. It's a fight club. It's a fight club. Okay. Now we okay. coming out and... you stop uh, by opening, opening, opening the mouth. Okay, they'll be out they'll next be month. Up. Yes. Okay. Pencil's not included. You know, I think they want the volume down a bit. This is wild. This comes out in October. This is called Vapor Strike. Vapor Strike. This is wild. This comes out in October. This is called Vapor Strike. Okay? Here, why don't you hold on to it? Yeah. They're laser tag, all self contained, so you don't have to wear anything else. And let me set this blaster. You hold on. That's your health meter right there. My health meter? Health meters, yes. So you have you can start off with here. each one is worth two points. Okay? I'm gonna set these blasters here for a one-on-one -on -one game. Hit the button on the bottom, climb it up, okay? And then let's go. So you're blasting at me. Am I trying to do you're trying to you're taking me out. Oh, what you doing? I'm trying to What's like a smoke? You got, you got smoke coming out of that gun. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the first time. This is pretty much in the history of any game that I won. And that's uh, October, 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 and April. This is great. Always fun at Well. Wowie! That is crazy. Wowie, yeah. yeah. I know. And someone in the chat room said, the first time a kid gets their finger caught, they'll take it from the market. All right, so. Ta-da. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's not on their website yet, but I didn't realize Wowie has tons of stuff. Yeah. They're also very big in finger uh, puppets. Yeah. And, and now they're starting. Click into it. Untap. Anyway, yeah, those are crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff. Ah. But they gave me one of those. Oh, my God. And... I thought maybe he does it with a pencil so you don't uh, get your finger stuck. So I will. Uh, 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 uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Uh, uh. Is it hurt? Ah! No. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't. Yeah. It's it just, doesn't. Yeah. You can just lift your finger uh, off. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do get one, batteries are included. And I. Put my I couldn't get it to work, so I took the dreaded screw out. Uh oh! Because, because I thought there was plastic covering the battery, and there wasn't. And I said, "Oh, wait a minute! Is there a switch somewhere?" And yes, <laughs> under the tail, under the tail is an on-off switch. <laughs> so if you get one, they're ten, but nine ninety-nine. If you get one, the batteries are in there. And the little on or switch is under the tail. That's so cute. they're fun. Yeah. And the the little guns are coming out in October. October. Those uh, they, it seemed like there was like smoke coming out of them, and they were. Yeah, sure, yes, I think the smoke crazy. is is just to to have fun. Uh, I'm not sure why. 
Um, but you have to hit the LEDs on the other person's uh, gun. And if you knock all the LEDs out, you win. And somehow not knowing what the hell I was doing. Or maybe they have a way to shut them off if you're pressed. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. You shoot over here. Bzz. Oh, you, you, you got me. Ah. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. How, how come Dennis is in the hall when you said he won? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that I wasn't even sound. pulling the trigger. How did I win? <laughs> I don't even understand. Uh, and uh, Captain J, yes, I can confirm that is exactly the death roll of an alligator. Uh, you know, a natural, that is a natural movement of, uh, Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know. Okay. I don't know if when the alli- the natural alligator does that 360, but, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, the natural alligator does not have a, uh, little switch. screw in the back. No, to take no. The back. Yeah, or bat. Yeah, don't believe it. <laughs> it doesn't, does not have an off switch. That's mm-hmm. the problem with yeah. alligators. Yeah, we need to get on that as a society, <laughs> installing those on-off switches on wild animals. Uh, okay, cool. Wow. Okay, one one more gadget, and we did something from this company like three years ago. The the company is very clever, and this oh. is their latest. We're here at sunny days, and we have something that'll make you a sunny day. You could build anything. Anything. Okay. Tell. Oh, look at this. Look at this. So, so this is a oh. three foot mega crane truck by Max Action. It's going to be launching next month at Target. Not only does it spin 360 degrees, but you can also raise and lower up the crane to pick up anything you want with this hook. And then all you have to do is put on the wrecking ball and knock it all down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So this was, what was this doing? No, that was That's rotating. Three, yep. Okay. And I love the lights. Oh, that yeah, was that fun. That's a 360. This one here kind of raises and lowers. Light, oh, okay. headlights, so tail lights. Off, okay. And one, raise, let the, the bar come all the way this, out. Yep. This is up and down. And then this one is kid powered. So if you need oh, it this to be, is kid powered. if you okay. need it to be a little bit smaller, of course, for storage purposes. Yeah. Yeah. And what does that retail for? It retails for forty dollars. Forty that that is an excellent buy for forty bucks. And it runs on It runns on batteries, so four AA batteries. Four AA batteries. I think that's great. Max action from sunny days. I'm gonna go out and knock down a building or two. <laughs> Make sure they're made out of plastic. Uh, yes, exactly. Exactly. That is um, cool. I, I, it, the little motors. Oh my gosh. A little motors, a lot, sound effects, lighting. That one has Wrecking forward and reverse. Ball. So there's a little, uh, there's a motor in it. I um, would have loved build a Lincoln log cabin, knock it over. Oh, with knock the, it down. Yeah. Be, <laughs> uh, you know, what are the little building, like maybe a wooden block building? <laughs> knock that thing yeah. over. Now, I didn't that see is childhood, it, uh, right there. Y- yes, that yes. Um, it's not on their web on uh, Amazon yet, but I look at that. They build great, fun, yeah. very big, t- very big. T- Eleven bucks prices. for that? That was crazy. Yeah, the motorcycle yeah. is is twenty bucks. Was it this? Gorgeous? I didn't see that. The action tool, the the yeah. little weed whacker. Yeah. I think we covered. Gosh, what did we cover? We we covered that. The right the rocket, this. the sunny day three in one blast off rocket, which was great fun. Um, Thirty two bucks. Did we the also helicopters? Cover, gosh, yeah. I thought we covered so. Yeah, there. I don't know, I remember, but yeah, these are all very reasonably priced. This is great. Oh look! Well, what you know what? Set? They do have the truck. They do have it. Oh, but yeah, you know yeah. what? Uh, don't buy it there. Yeah. Because she said Target is going to have it for thirty nine ninety nine, yeah. So it'd be $10 cheaper. There it is. Yeah, that is so cool. Up, down, swivel, crane up, down. That is neat. And then there's buttons on the Forward, top. reverse. There's two buttons for the truck to go forward and back. I think uh, that's, the stuff is really nice looking. Yeah. Get a couple of bricks. I agree. I agree. Fun times to be had with that gadget. That's good. Sunny um, days. Okay, sunny days for gadget number three. <laughs> now, let's take a walk to a crappy place. Yo, yo, need it. 
but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okay, dokie. The last of the summer outdoor Ooh. crappy gadgets. We got a good one. Uh, I took I this like one outside. It already. I just seeing the name, I like it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I took this one outside earlier, so let's take a look. Hey, diggy D. Here we are. That is the most realistic rabbit. Backyard, crazy summertime gadget. Uh, this is not my backyard. Cute little bunny over there. No. Um, so today we are taking a look at the Bubble Torch Garden Lamp. This is a fun outdoor activity uh, cool. that you can do. And uh, the original suggestion for this theme was from my mother. And she said she wanted firework alternative uh, gadgets. And this was the funnest thing I could think of uh, that has lights and bubbles. I'm not exactly sure what firework alternative meant, but this is, this is how I interpreted it. So this is, uh, it will produce bubbles out the top, um, lights out the bottom and music all on its own. It is not a Bluetooth speaker. It just produces music. Um, it mentions on the box that there's these various height levels and really that is just how many tubes you want to install. Um, and one more thing I wanna mention on the box, uh, all the instructions, it mentions that this takes three AA uh, batteries. Well, it does not in fact take three AA batteries because I was confused because I remember seeing on uh, Amazon rechargeable. Well, it is rechargeable. They've oh. they've taken the compartment that oh, would I take the three batteries yeah. and just wired the DC uh, battery in and they give you a USB a uh, to this connector to uh, to charge the battery so you just kind of shove it in there and then put the battery pack on with the uh, the screw right there so let me go ahead and assemble it it's just all these little plastic pieces uh, and one final thing is that this base I went ahead and added all of the water into it. It comes empty with a little cap, uh, but it works very effectively. This is a nice heavy base now. So I think construction should go pretty quickly. Okay, so we are adding on the last piece. Very, very simple. One other gripe that I have before we really show it off. Bubble solution. The box came with none. Zero bubble solution at all. Uh, not even a screwdriver to get the little screw off of it. Uh, so this is my own homemade brew. Hopefully it works. Um, also, we're on a bit of a slope here and this stays up pretty well. Yeah, maybe you would wanna lower it with younger children. Here we go. There's a switch on the side, on, uh, off, on, and then on with music. So we can turn it just to on and that will do the LEDs out the top and the bottom and the fan, which will start the, uh, the bubbles. And then that's the middle position. All the way down, we'll turn on the music. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! The Bubble Torch Garden Lamp. This makes me feel so patriotic. This is almost like looking at some fireworks. Maybe a firework alternative. <laughs> The LEDs, weirdly, are only blue and red. They, they stopped there. They got two colors of LEDs. Uh, they're at the top, and then also they point into the bubble solution as well. Here in daylight, you really can't see it. Uh, at nighttime, it may look a bit better. Okay, well, we're gonna take this back to you guys in the studio. I can't imagine a five-year-old that could handle that music for very long Boing. is there only one song one song that oh is my god the song <laughs> you get i was gonna see if uh we can turn off the lights here oh that'd be great i have an idea that that, that would be super okay. oh there you go now the you're off. talking okay let's turn it on now you're talking oh there are bubbles well. coming out let's turn on the music Yeah, it's not very... <laughs> no, it's not very disco-y. No. 
It looks more like a short circuit. Yeah, that's pretty underwhelming. <laughs> be honest. It's also starting to smell a little bit like dish soap in here. Because <laughs> um, they didn't give me any bubble solution, and that's what they said to do, is put dish soap and water together, and that's your best option. Uh, very crappy. Extremely crappy, okay? On the, on the crappiness scale, between the one track, the two pitiful LEDs, the battery compartment that's made for double A's and is <laughs> been retrofitted with a wire hang anyway this thing is just whack it costs way oh. it it's priced way too high for what it is uh, uh, I was gonna guess twenty dollars yeah 26 there is a 10 percent off coupon um but yeah this yeah. this needs this is like a five below gadget for sure yes I yeah when when I saw just two LEDs I thought what is this five below I would I would like you to imagine the wedding. <laughs> Oh my God! The wedding, where she goes end down. End divorce. Yeah. After the bubble machine starts, the divorce comes in. Ah, and here comes the bride. Ah, she looks so great in that dress. <laughs> uh, turn this off. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crappy. I would not recommend it. Uh, the best part of this was the bass. And that's really just water. <laughs> really. I thought the bass was very impressive. It was very heavy. Uh, but that's just gravity. Um, so, yeah. Not much else to say about the... Uh, what was the name of this thing? Bubble Torch Boy. Garden Lamp. Um, no. Yeah, wouldn't would not recommend. Oh, look at this. Oh, I, oh, I, I should have even noticed. Oh, my gosh. They're not even hiding a thing. The Amazon page tells you how to set up the battery. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But the yeah. the box does not. The box has the old info on on, uh, the, on it. Oh, I see. Yes. One shows the three batteries. Yeah. Yeah. So if I I, I realize now I must have I, I could have seen that at, when I was ordering, but it, it came as a shock at, you know, a week later when I was looking at it. Um so there you go. The bubble torch garden lamp. Like I said, please, nobody buy this. Oh, it looks like Scooter X may have found... Oh, it's a similar... It's a similar... It's less expensive, but it looks... Honestly, it looks better. It looks like a better gadget. Uh, this is a $7 uh, well, bubble Well, certainly the, for, certainly the price is better. The price is better. It is actually shaped like a torch, too. Oh, wow. It's kind of cool. And look, oh, it makes funny. babies run fast! <laughs> oh my gosh. The process in the process of playing with bubbles, fall in love with sports. It will oh. make your children <laughs> athletes. It will make your children athletes. Look at that. Oh my god. What what is this? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Spit bubbles as you run and fill the surroundings with bubbles as you run. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. This is probably good. We're probably going to see this at the uh, French Olympics. Yeah. On the That's what tomorrow. I'm thinking. Yeah. They You're probably right. have As like they a run thousand, past a thousand down the Seine, these. bubbles. <laughs> I agree. Just to show how clean it is. Um, yeah, that is absolutely. That is a, a really funny. Um, thanks for sending that over, <laughs> Scooter X, because that is a really funny AliExpress um, thing. Okay. So there you go. Uh, uh, that's really all there is to say about we've spent too much time, honestly, on the automatic bubble torch. Uh, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh, oh. On. Our email is from Jason Friedman, who says, hi, Dick. Hi, Chad. Hi, Josh. Here's a link to the video I made about my Roku SoundBridge Ooh. M1000 for your gadget warehouse segment. Okay. And here's his video. Interesting. 
Hi, Dick and Chad. This is Jason coming to you from Israel. I'm a big fan of the show, been listening from episode number one. Um, and I really enjoyed a few weeks ago when my suggestion for a gadget theme of train gadgets was voted on by the patrons and particularly enjoyed uh, listening to Chad whispering about gadgets while on the train. <laughs> Uh, the gadget I'd like to talk to you about today is the Roku Soundbridge M1000, this device here. Uh, quite a few years ago now, we moved to um, America, to Penn State University, and, and I wanted to bring my songs from, from Israel with us. We had lots of uh, a nice big collection of CDs, as people had in those days. Uh, and so what I did is I ripped the CDs to a, to a hard disk and we brought the computer with us to Israel. Um, and then we could place this device in the kitchen uh, and this is an audio streamer. So before Roku were famous for making video streamers, they also used to make uh, audio streamers. No and the way it worked way. is you could the songs were on the computer upstairs, um, and this device, using through the internet through Wi-Fi, was able to listen to the songs um, off the computer. What? Um, so the way it works is you just plug in. Um, you, you plug in to hear a, a set of speakers. Um, and then on the other side, you could, you could either plug in a, a network cable. There's also an option to put in a, um, a Wi-Fi card there so you could access it wirelessly. Um, so the device worked quite nicely. Um, it allowed us from the kitchen. There was a, a remote control. Um, you could pick your, your favorite albums and songs to play from it. You also had a, a rudimentary search facility so you could search through the songs. Um, in addition, it was also able to play internet radio. You could go to a particular website and select the radio stations you were interested, to, interested in um, and then you could play them back using the device. Uh, my main problem with the device was that I'd ripped the songs um, and given them Hebrew um, names using some uh, <laughs> service. Unfortunately, the device didn't have any Hebrew characters, yeah, um, like so I wasn't able code. to display the names. It just showed them in gibberish instead. Uh, no. My few favorite <laughs> albums, I went through and manually transliterated them into English so I'd be able to see the song names. Um, after we had it for um, more than a year, unfortunately, the LCD screen died. Um, while Roku said it was unfixable, I found on some Roku forums someone who was able to fix it. So I sent it to him and he fixed the LCD screen. Um, unfortunately, since then, the device has died again. Um, no! I didn't bother fixing it a second time around. Um, these days, we have an easier option. Yeah, like, wait. Uh, at home here, we have a Google Voice <laughs> and Spotify, yeah. um, which, which is frankly... A, um, much easier to use and, and yes. many more songs. But, but yeah, back, for, back in its time, it was really a, a great invention. We used it a lot to listen to lots of music and songs and radios um, while we were there. I can't... Bye. That is <laughs> amazing. 10 out of 10. Wow. Yeah. I had... Now, I found, the, I found the review of it. I am blown well, away. I, yeah. What is that? Yeah. It is from 2006... So what's that? Eighteen years ago, and Man. it was two hundred and fifty dollars. Check this out. It's only dropped twenty five dollars in price since. <laughs> oh, no, just sound... this is on oh, Mercari. Someone has brand. Someone ha yeah. has a brand new one. Yes, on Mercari. Mercari is a. Uh, it's like eBay, but it's like instant. Um, and oh. yeah, look at that. I mean, just. The just the fact that r this is an actual Roku, like this was the like a <laughs> like original Roku product. Yes, who knew that who they even knew? Like already, my jaw's on the floor, and that you have one and that you used one, insane. Um, so yeah, and then yeah. The, anyway, co continue with the review. That is so funny. Yeah, no, no. Uh, it's two hundred and fifty bucks. And I, I, I believe in the review, they liked it a lot. Man, that is yeah. so funny. This is, so nowadays, there's a, a similar gadget. Actually, I think it's not made anymore. But uh, Steam Deck is uh, almost similar to this in that it's a bridge. Um, but what you would use nowadays is you would, you know, how you're still using your internal Wi-Fi to kind of go back to the, the hub and play the music. The Steam Deck will do that to your computer, and that, and it'll use video. So you can play a video game on your computer on a TV oh. that's in the living room, right? And so it'll do that same sort of bridge type of technology where you're playing it in one spot but getting it from another uh, with, you know, high frame rate stuff. It's so funny that uh, that existed for music, that it was <laughs> like, go use the sound bridge to play music that is yeah that is crazy crispy so bacon funny. said now that's a collector's item yeah um, yeah yeah and and uh that's so cool that you used it to go to israel and that it had the bug with 
Hebrew Jay, language. Jason, that that was so really funny. great. That, that was, was cool. so so much fun. Yeah. Um, Great. If you if you have a gadget like that, doesn't matter if it doesn't work anymore. But like Jason, tell us why you how you used it, and it served him well for a long time. Um, and, and yeah, and there's what it looked like. Oh, May two thousand and five. Five. Yeah, from Roku Labs. It's so interesting. Oh that my there gosh, was a, it has a. This is this was cool. I mean, this was a yeah. Really this was kind cool. of amazing. This yeah. is very tech. Yeah, very techy. Super. Yeah, yeah you get a and music was, server, and then wow. Yeah. And there's the what it looked like when it. Yeah, up. if you were into digital music, this was this is it was great. Play your lossless yeah. files from your network connected home, like. <laughs> Yeah, it is 19, funny that 19, nowadays 19 you do that, ago. but with a $50 puck, you know, or a, <laughs> yes. or, or just your phone using Bluetooth to the closest wireless speaker. Um, yeah. And and it's, anyway. uh, yeah. That's super. That is super. Uh, Jason uh, will get the current issue of Man. I think he said he moved to the U.S. I'm not sure. Um, Jason, if you're still over there, I will... Um, autograph an Alfred E. Newman picture and send you a high-res image. But if you live in the U.S. or Canada, I'll send you uh, the current issue of Mad Magazine. And we need more videos. Okay, this was great. So first uh, time submitter from Jason, a great video, horizontal format. We could see the gadget here, Jason. You can be in it if you want. If you're shy, just show the gadget and talk about it. And make your video one to three minutes. Put it up on YouTube. When you upload, there's a drop-down menu. You can click unlisted. And that means only people with the URL will be able to see it. And send that URL to us. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And boys, if someone else new wants to send in a video, that'd be great. If not anybody, a video, anything. Yeah. To do with a gadget. Mail at gizwith.tv. That is great. I like uh, the, I'm using Jason's video as inspiration. Is just, did you ever buy a gadget to solve a problem? You know, back in the day, oh man, I had to buy that one thing to get the music to play around the house. You know, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good place to start. Okay, with that, let's move on to the letter. Our email is from Steve Miller, who simply says, I found the new hat uh, for Chad to buy. Okay. Let's take and a look. show the photo. Uh, can confirm. Yeah. I think I'll buy, yes. I'd, I'd, I'd buy that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you know instantly who what I, this was? I think I did. Yeah, I did. But I have never okay. seen this before. This image no, me before. either. But I me instantly the, the design of this box immediately yes. gave me the thought of all the you know I think it was the uh, the iPad wrist holder box that was one of their classics yes, from this yes, company. Yes, yes, yes. We're, we're talking about prank boxes. Prank boxes, and so right. The idea is you buy an inexpensive prank box with a very funny outside cover just like this cat hat wearable yeah, cat my tree. my my favorite is the shower coffee maker <laughs> so that you can be in the shower while right under the shower your coffee is brewing okay. oh my gosh Here, i think I they also search... used that at, 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 at sam quentin to uh experiment boxes prisoners. this one looks like new cargo socks Oh my god, they are cargo socks. Yeah, you cargo socks. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> have have pockets on your socks. Uh, a jigsaw puzzle that's mostly blue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is the same company, but it's all kind of this. No, I don't know. They're, they're, it's sort of like the good ones. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Bathe and brew. <laughs> that is my favorite. Bathe and brew. There's one of an iPad wrist. <laughs> that, not, I have that. It was, I have that too. This is not what I was thinking of, but that is also really funny. Tech net, yes. Tech neck. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, my first fire. Yeah. <laughs> my Kids' first, first fire. Man, I have not seen the uh, the cat scratch one. That is no. That's a good one though. Um, honestly, it's I think it's a gadget I need. Uh, if they did that for your <laughs> shoulders, you know, like a like a little vest, and then it made like a tree around you. Oh, that'd be great. There uh, you go. Yeah. Wear that yeah. All the time. Because you need both cats up there, so one, <laughs> yeah. one's not one's not jealous. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's very fun. And then what people typically do is they, you put a real gift inside, or you, you just couldn't, you know, they get nothing. Yeah, just it's say it. Fun uh, box. Yeah. That's great. That is really great. Um, okay, well, thank you for the letter. I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for supporting our show every single episode. If you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back, patreon.com slash gizwiz, or head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab at the top of our website, and there's a big old banner that'll take you to our Patreon page, or a little link that'll take you to our PayPal page. Uh, however you give, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, gizwiz.tv is where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Uh, when we're live, the website will just update with the uh, live stream, so you can chat along with everybody, uh, and, and join the chat room, so you can chat along with everybody. If we're not live, all our episodes will be there after the fact, uh, there at our website, or our YouTube page, and you can also subscribe on Apple Podcasts as well. Head on to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website, where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. So if you're ever needing a link back or reminder about a gadget, gizwiz.biz is the place to go. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? The Game Show Online. This is uh, an entire gadget. And you gotta guess what this is. Um... And uh, this is obvious uh, to me uh, that this is a, uh, a little saddle for riding a wire. Uh, whenever, you know, it's like a, instead of a zip line from below, you sit on it. Oh, zip okay, line. yeah. There you go. I, I, yeah. I, I it's a, it. it's yeah. a sit atop line. Instead of a zip line, it's a sit top okay. All right. saddle. If you think you know what this is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. That's 18 Mad Magazines up for grabs, so get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.